la kumi hara and lakumi hara lakumi lakumi means namaskara welcome to the complete tutorial of sri ganadha geetham indiraga malahari sari ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa by completing the session you will be able to learn revise and master the very first geetham which all carnatic music students learn let me give you a brief overview of this geetham this geetham is composed by guru purandara dasa and it is in the raga malahari and rupaka dalam by this time you must be already learned about rupaka dalam from the alangarams malahari is probably the second raga most of the carnatic students learn after the maya mada gola so it should be very exciting for the students and also this is the first time a student get to learn something with sahityam let me talk a little bit about raga malahari malahari is an audava shadava ragam in the arohanam it has five swaras in the avarohanam it has six swaras instead of the regular seven and also it's janya of 15th malagartha raga maya mada gola malahari is arohana arohanam is let me play that in flute by the way i'm using a d sharp that is 2.5 so the flute so hope you are clear with this particular ragam this geetham has a pallavi charanam 1 and charanam 2 we usually say pallavi anubalvi charanam but here it says pallavi charanam 1 and charanam 2 because charanam 1 and charanam 2 even pallavi also has same swaras that makes it very easy for students to learn also even though pallavi and charanam 1 and charanam 2 has same swaras keep in mind when we play an instrument we have to be careful to play according to the sahityam i will give you a detailed explanation in this video how to play according to the sahityam so let me play the geetham's pallavi usually you will say ma pa but in this one the ma pa is played as akaram that means the ma pa should sound as if it is in one blow if you do like that it won't hear as shri gana nada so for that for mappa you have to play ma ga ta na ta ma ta sa sa ri so mappa should be in one blow and that ma we should give more dirgam to that ma and pa should be just a touch shri shri okay should start from da sintu raga varna so all separate blow or separate bow when if you are using violin you should you should use separate bow karuna sagara all separate
All separate. You can give that gamma gamma also. So, Sintu Ra in that Ra A we have to give we have to do it in one blow or one bow in violin. So next Karuna Sagara Karuna Sagara all separate. Kari vada na that na da pa maga ri hai ri sa ri sa that ri sa should be in one. That's how we will play for the Sahitya. So that is Pallavi. Pallavi will end like this. Sari Ma Sari in one bow. Sari Ma Gari. Lakumiharam All separate Ampa Sutta Am One blow One blow Paha Sutta that is separate. Sutta is separate. Am Paha Sutta Amara Vinutta Amara Vinutta. So in Pallavi itself, Purandara Dasar gave you a taste. This is specifically made for students who learnt Maya Malogole and then they need something to try it out. They need some Gidam to try it out. So he prepared in a way that they should know Akaram and also exact notes also. So when you do when you do Akaram and exact notes exact notes means uh, in instrument it will be like little bit more clear that in violin we'll use sa re ga ma pa da ni sa separate bow for each swaras in flute we will do each tutukaram that's what we call in flute Tutukaram for each swaras. But according to Sahityam, we don't do Tutukaram for or bow in violin for every swaras. So, for example, Shri, that will be like played. So, I used only one Tutukaram or blow. In that one blow, I played Ma and Pa together. So hope you understand that, that particular part. So that understanding will happen in this particular Gidam itself. And you know in uh, Mohana Gidam and all, the Gari Risasa, those kind of uh, places like you know you will get more such experience. So every Gidam when you play, 
you have to know the meaning of the song also from now onwards you did your uh, sarali varise janta varise alangaram and all that to varise all practices are done now we are coming to a position where we get something to play with we can actually like you know sing something meaningful so the meaning is very important in this particular part so the pallavi meaning is very interesting uh, shri it starts with shri shri gananatha so we know ganesha ganapati is leader of pramada ganas so he is the leader of pramada ganas so his color what is gan ganesha's color is sindura color sindura is uh, a vermilion that we call it as a vermilion so it is that that kind of sindura the ladies used to put sinduras on their forehead so that that color is uh, ganesha's we see ganesha's in various forms various colors uh, these days uh, you know some of them are uh, you know uh, white ganesha black ganesha all the other brown ganesha's but here purandara das clearly telling the color of ganesha is sindura and he is the ocean of compassion he is a karuna sagara kari vadana this geetam is composed in sanskrit so kari vadana means we all know that kari means elephant and vadana means face so he is elephant faced lambodara lambodara means he has a very huge belly and lakumihara lakumi lakumi means goddess lakshmi lakshmi is in his, his hand why he is holding lakshmi in his hand that to in order to give everybody so he has the whole lakshmi in his hand lakshmi of course the goddess of wealth prosperity uh, good wealth and ambasuda ganesha is also son of parvati ambasuda amara vinuta amara you can also say it is devas or it can also be amaras means uh, realized beings the realized being always worship him so this is what the meaning of pallavi so that is pallavi so let's go to charanam charanam is also has the same swaras but there is slight difference i will tell you so it says siddha charana so in the mappa dasa siddha mappa cha dasa that should be in one blow ganase e vita risada pa ma pa risada va ma pa risa ganase e vita siddhi vinayaka in the siddhi vinayaka all separate te te ye namo namo ലക്കുമിഹറിനോട്ടിഫോർ that is charanam 1 the meaning of charanam 1 is it starts with siddha charana 
Sitacharana means all holy men. You have all holy men at your feet. Sitacharana. Gana Sevita. We already started with Sri Gananatha. These Pramadaganas, who are the Pramadaganas? They are the followers of Lord Shiva. Shiva's Bodhaganas. They all worship. They all worship Ganesha as their God. Siddhi Vinayaka. You grant all Siddhis to your uh, devotees. Siddhi Buddhi, considered as two wives of Ganesha. Not like no, in uh, in our uh, in our whatever the world what we are living in, we call wife in a different way. But when it comes to Lord, it's totally different. It has its own philosophical meaning. So Siddhi Buddhi are two wives of Ganesha. Siddhi, what is Siddhi? Like we are all learning flute. Initially, it will be difficult, and we practice, 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 practice. After years, we will get this Siddhi to play a song. So that is Siddhi. So that is why we pray Ganesha as our using our first Gidam to give this Siddhi, Sangeeta Siddhi to us. Siddhi Vinayaga, Te Namo Namo. I bow to you. Te Namo Namo. For what? To get all the Siddhis and finally get help me to realize my own true nature. That's what we are asking Bhagavan in Charanam 1. Let's do Charanam 2. Charanam 2 also has the same swaras but in Sahitya ways there are some differences I will tell you. Sari in one blow. Adi Puhu Jita Puhu One Blow Say just like that. Sarvo Tama. That Tama separate bow. Te one blow. Namo Namo. Again, Charnam two. I already told. So let's go to the meaning of uh, Charanam 2. We all worship Ganesha as the first God because he is the Vigneshwara. He will remove all the obstacles. So that is what here uh, Purandra Dasar mentioned. You are Adi Pujita. You are the first one to receive all those worships. And Sakala Vidya, and we know Vidya. There are Avidya and Paravidya, according to Bhagavad Gita. So, the Avidyas, whatever we are all learning in school, that is all called Avidya. The Paravidya is something which will take you to the enlightenment, which will remove you uh, from all the sufferings. So, he is the master of 
are Paravidyas and Avidyas. So Sagala Vidyas, he is the master. And Sarvotama, and you are the greatest one of all. I pray to you, we pray to you. Lambodara, Lakumikara, Ambasuda, Amara, Vinuta. I already told you the meaning of all. So Charanam 2 basically says that I pray to you, I bow to you, you have to help me in my music studies, not only music studies, my education also and my life also, to get a fulfillment of my life. I need your help, Ganesha. So that should be our aim and that should be our power when we play this particular song in front of our puja room or in front of the audience when you do a performance or something like that you are not supposed to think this in your head that i have to get first prize everybody should like my music that's all secondary you should get this meaning give meaning to your heart and you have to pray ganesha using this song then you don't need to put that much effort in your music studies because it will be taken care of by him. So hope you received the complete understanding of Malahari Gidam, that is Sri Gananatha. If you like this video, please consider liking this particular video and also turn on the notification so that you will get notified when I upload another video. And also, if you like my initiative, please consider subscribing to this channel. Please share this video to your friends and family if you think they like this particular video. So again, I will come up with more Gidams, more Kirtanams in this particular channel. So until then, Namaskar.